Hello, today I would like to show you a short video on where you should be feeling your back bends in any yoga practice that you attend. So this is relevant to any time that you open up the chest and you expand away from your center, such as your cobra pose, a camel pose, or just anything where you're waving up into expression of the chest. Now it's really important that you never feel a back bend at your lower back spine. Because if you feel the vertebrae of the uh, lower back spine coming together, it means you're compressing them and you could create injury or you're creating less space in the vertebrae. Ideally, you want to feel a back bend in between your shoulder blades and around your chest, so the upper part of your spine and shoulder area. So let's move into a back bend uh, from a simple seated posture and show you how you can wave up from your center to create more space and to liberate the tension around the shoulders and the chest while keeping your lower back nice and long. So I like to show this posture on the knees in a hero's pose. And clap the fingertips facing forward behind you. As you inhale, you inhale down into your belly. It's so important to use your breath while doing the back bend. Inhale down into your belly. As you exhale, you squeeze your pelvic floor muscles. You pull your lower belly in and up. You draw your lower spine in and up. And this will buoyantly express your chest, shoulders down, belly in, skull up. And now I'm feeling it in between my shoulder blade and the spaciousness of the chest rather than my lower back. If you were to do it differently, it may look something like this, where you're just jutting the chest forward, which is crunching the lower back, just to feel more of an uh, expansion, but not really a support. So as you inhale down into your belly, we'll do it again. Exhale, squeeze up through your pelvic floor muscles, pull your lower belly in and up, start to wave into your center, chin to chest. And as you draw up, draw your lower spine in and up, buoyantly Press your chest and receive your breath in your back bend. You should keep your skull long, looking up or forward, never back. Now we can take that into a camel pose, for example, if the body is warm, where I like to tuck the toes. So as you inhale, you're down into the belly with the breath. You exhale, squeeze up from your pelvic floor muscles, pull your lower belly in and start to wave yourself up, hands to the lower back. Inhale into the belly, exhale, buoyantly lift your chest, expanding out and away, gazing up, shoulders down. Once again, a nice feeling into my chest, not my lower back. If you were to do it the other way, it perhaps would just look like a jutting out situation rather than a hugging in to express and create more freedom. So I hope you got some information that is useful out of that video. Remember, as you inhale into the belly, you prepare, but as you exhale, you squeeze the pelvic floor muscles, the lower belly, you wave through your center. Belly comes in and up, lower back draws in and up, and then expression to the chest can be felt more buoyantly, but also in a more safe way so you're not drawing down into the lower back. Thank you for joining me and for sharing your time with this video. If you have any questions, just comment on the post, and I would be more than happy to reply. For more videos with me, visit www.sashaquinceyoga.com. Namaste.